Hello and welcome to a 4PSA tutorial. In the previous video, we explained how to use incoming call rules to require callers with a certain caller ID to provide a password before their calls are forwarded. Now we're going to add a second rule which will allow us to transfer calls received from certain numbers to three other extensions when calls are placed during custom time intervals and aren't answered by the extension owner. We will start by selecting the Transfer To option from the drop-down list. It's important to note this is the most complex incoming call rule available in the VoIP Now Professional and it requires special attention. The second option you have is whether to choose to transfer the call to other numbers or to the extension's voicemail if enabled. In this case, we will transfer the calls to other extension numbers. In the first text box, you can enter internal, public phone numbers, and group codes that you want your calls to transfer to. We'll fill in the extensions for 1, 2, and 3 to be called. VoIP Now Professional will also allow you to choose the number of seconds the extension to which the calls are transferred to will ring before hanging up. The default is the one initially set up on the system's preference page under Number of Seconds to Call option. We have chosen to transfer only the calls whose caller ID matches the given value. To do this, just fill in the desired number, for example, 288468. Next, use the drop down list to select the time interval during which this rule applies. Before transferring the incoming call, VoIP Now Professional will check two things. The first is the extension status. Here you can choose one of the three available options. If you want all of the extension's incoming calls to be transferred, choose does not matter. Otherwise, you can transfer calls if the extension is registered or only if the extension isn't registered. Now we have to establish call status and we again have three options. Select does not matter to transfer all calls whether they are answered or not. Select not answered to transfer only the calls that have haven't been answered. Finally, we can choose to transfer calls that are received when the extension is busy and involved in another conversation. Next, you can select if you want the caller's name to be requested before connecting the call. We'll choose Ask. Using VoIP Now Professional, you can choose to allow the public call phone number to transfer the call to another destination. When choosing Allow, the public number will be able to transfer the calls transferred to it to another destination. Remember that in this case, the current extension will be charged for any transfer the public destination performs. For our rule, we'll choose Do Not Allow. The Transfer To rule will allow you to decide if you want the current extension to be called or not when a call that matches the algorithm is received. Let's choose not to call it. On the last row, we can choose the rules position and the keypad shortcut. You can leave the default selection for this position. If you don't plan to use a keypad shortcut to enable or disable the rule, just leave this field empty. Then choose Follow for the last option, since we are going to define one other incoming call rule. When finished, press OK to save the changes. That's how we use incoming call rules to transfer an extension's incoming calls to other destinations in VoIP Now Professional. Thank you for watching.